if New Mexico uh, was to welcome this idea of a preferred alternative at, at WHIP, what would the local politics be like? Would the governor have to have to write off on it? Would the legis would the legis legislature have to write off on it? Would uh, uh, the people in Carlsbad uh, certainly uh, couldn't be the only people to, to to impose this kind of thing on the rest of us. Well, a number of things have to happen. The, f the first thing, of course, from my standpoint, is the people of the state, in some way or another, are going to have to change their minds. Right. Because all through the process of the development of WHIP in the 70s and 80s and 90s, and public opinion polling that was done, et cetera, always showed 70% or more of the population said no way to this. It was so, 70%? So, and I, from anecdotally, I have no reason to believe that we still don't have that kind of high level of opposition to this high kind of idea. So uh, um, among the things that would have to happen, from my standpoint, an important thing would have to happen is that people would have to change their mind. I don't think that's going to happen. In the short run, the Department of Energy wants to proceed with eliminating this provision of the state permit that we've talked right, about that prohibits. Right, yeah. and, and they want to do it. Interestingly, DOE wants to, to change the permit without a public hearing. So they not only want to take our right to a public hearing down the line away, they don't even want to have a public <laughs> hearing on the attempt to take it away. Jeez. Um, so the, <clears throat> the people of the state uh, get a chance to say no way to that, not in a hearing, but through written comments. The Environment Department, which of course is part of the administration, then has to make a decision. So some people will take if the Environment Department says okay to this, even though that's not explicitly the governor doing it, it right. would be the, her appointed secretary of the Environment Department, Dave right. Martin, right. doing that. But some people would take that as, well, maybe the governor is mm, interested or susceptible or, right. or, or whatever to, to, to this idea. Um, uh, the legislature isn't specifically involved. Um, federal law preempts states from regulating this kind of radioactive material oh. except through the permitting process okay. we're talking about. So the legislature doesn't really have to do anything. Obviously, again, the legislature, if they wanted to, could weigh in in terms of what they think about it. Right. Uh, but as I say, ultimately, um, there would be legal challenges uh, to this idea of changing things. Ultimately, Congress has to get involved. So there would be a lot of people that would have to be involved. One of the lessons of New Mexico in the 70s and 80s um, was that, because remember the original decision, the original, original 1979 decision in Congress to do WIP nobody really got consulted. Nell Price, who at the time was the chairman of the House Armed Services oh, Committee, oh, just went to the floor right. with a bill that said not to use WIP, and on the floor of the House changed it to say, let's use WIP. And, and so there wasn't, you know, any agreement at the time. Yeah. Well, it took 13 years to get to the 1992 law to kind of sort out how, how all of that was going to work. But um, the, the lesson of that time, in my experience, and the lesson of the Nevada experience with Yucca Mountain mm -hmm. is these take, any nuclear waste facility takes a long, long time. Right. <laughs> so if people are not going to support it, um, it may take a while. It took Nevada from 1987, 25 years wow. to kill the Yucca Mountain idea. Yeah. It took people in New Mexico from when WIP was first proposed in 1972. It was 20 years from when WIP was first proposed until the 1992 law and 27 years from wow. the proposal in 1972 to 1999 when waste finally came. Right. So, so there are lots of administrations Lots of people in the legislature, lots of people in Congress that would have to buy in before any kind of a change could really happen. But that's why, rather than going through 20 or 25 years of debating about whether we want to do it or not mm -hmm. in New Mexico, I think it's an important time now for people now to say to the Department of Energy, to the Environment Department, to the governor, to the congressional delegation, this is a non-starter. Don't even go there. And it can be stopped very quickly. What the Department of Energy announced as their preferred alternative, 
they haven't finally decided it is. There's a separate decision called a record of decision that DOE has to do. They haven't done that yet. And in fact, the Department of Energy could still go back to its long-held position, which is not to ship it to WIP, and they could announce, you know, um, any time uh, from April 11th on, they could decide, well, we're going to go back to, no, we're not going to send any of this Hanford waste to WIP. And that could be the end of it very quickly.